Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, I caught my fiance sending nudes to another man. Obviously, that is not an ideal situation. So this particular guy, he's been with his girlfriend or fiance for 13 years. They've lived together for 12. I guess they have kids together. They own a business together. And like a lot of people that have been together for a long time, and especially this guy, he stopped dating and courting her, and he doesn't make her feel heard and understood. And so a few months ago, I guess he was, uh, she had already gone to sleep, and her phone's lighting up, and he looks, and some dude, I guess he goes into her phone, notices a, some nudes that she had sent her, or topless photos. And he's thinking, what the hell is this? And so I guess on a family, they live out west, and I guess she went out to the middle of the country for a family wedding or something, met this particular guy. They exchanged phone numbers, and so she started texting him because he was paying attention to her. Because obviously her live-in fiancé, who she's in business with, and they have a house with, they got kids with, had completely checked out, wasn't dating according to her, wasn't making her feel heard and understood, and like I say, and like the book says, 3% man, if you don't date in court your wife or girlfriend, eventually some other guy will. And so he wants to work things out, but part of his problem, he, he still ain't read the, read the book yet. I don't know how long he's been following me for, but if this guy expects to have any chance of saving his relationship, he's going to need to learn the fundamentals because he's displaying a lot of unattractive behavior and he's not doing anything to facilitate intimacy being rebuilt. So I know a lot of guys that come to me are in some kind of a similar situation, especially if they're in a long-term relationship or it's a guy that started dating a girl for a few weeks or a few months and then boom, they get friend zoned or I'm confused and the girl backs away and he goes into panic mode wanting to fix it. And that's typically when they come across my work. <clears throat> so let's go through his email. He says, hi, coach. I feel like this is an important topic and may be an issue a lot of other guys have experienced. First off, yes, I wish I would have read your book five years ago, but I'm starting now. So I'm assuming maybe he found out about me five years ago. He says, I've been going crazy over here the past couple months. I started listening to your videos and now podcasts religiously after searching for Get My Ex Back. Okay, so it's only a few months in that he's been following me. He says, quickly getting into it. We had been together for 13 years and have lived together for 12 of them. My fiancé had become a bit distant over the past couple of months. Well, the thing to keep in mind is women, you got to facilitate them talking. Women typically on an average day say about 8,000 words. Guys, us guys, we tend to say about 2,000 words. So women are natural talkers. And us guys just simply need to facilitate that. And most of the time, just listen, get them to talk. Acknowledge what they're saying every few minutes, maybe repeat some of it back to them, let them know you're listening, but this is important. Men who care will listen. Even when she's talking about inane, obnoxious things you have zero interest in and you really don't want to listen to it, you got to. Just facilitate her talking because as she talks, she'll feel better, she'll feel like you care because guys that don't do that make their women feel like they don't care. And if a woman feels heard and understood, the leg's open. And if she doesn't, the legs are going to close. Because she just feels like you don't care. He says, women arguing. Well, men who understand women don't argue with them, but he's arguing. And just felt a loss of connection over the past few months as well. Probably the arguing was instigated by him because he's complaining he's not getting sex or things aren't going well. And you can't use logic and reason and demands to make a woman want to sleep with you. you got to make her feel heard and understood. And you got to spend quality time with her. you got to take an interest in her life. Even when she talks about crap you really don't want to listen to. Because all women do. But hey, that's what you sign up for. If you don't like it, date dudes or be single. <clears throat> he says, and not a lot of effort had been put into the relationship. And has sort of been on cruise control running the business we have. And handling the children. So you guys basically became roommates. And there was no sexual polarity because you're not leading the relationship. You're not dating and courting her. You're not making her feel heard and understood. And she feels like you just don't care. And you can only do this for so long. Every woman has a breaking point where they just get to the point where like this, she's complained enough. She said the same thing over and over. Nothing changes. And eventually she gives up. And then she goes to a wedding 
and meet some random dude who actually wants to take the time to listen to her and hear her stories and hear her talk about whatever garbage that she wants to talk about because he's fascinated and interested and obviously he wants access to the box and there's lots of guys in society that don't care if she's married or in a relationship or a fiance or has a ring on her finger or anything. They don't care. They want access to the box. They want to... <laughs> the business has been slow and has caused some strain on the relationship. Well, inaction breeds fear and doubt. Taking action breeds confidence and courage. And I would also encourage you to read Mastering Yourself because the stuff I've learned about business and life, my whole business model, what I do here, it's all in the book. So help yourself out and learn some business skills to help your business and get back on track. Focus on your mission and purpose. But first and foremost, you got to read the book, dude. 3% Man. Come on. If you're serious about turning things around, you'll read the book. And if not, you'll half-ass it, and eventually you'll find out she's sleeping with somebody else. And that's your future. He, said, he continues, she feels I don't listen to her suggestions and didn't want to fix anything. Didn't listen to her until the relationship which was broken, which is partially true. No, it's totally true, dude. Because I didn't think it would get her here. Yeah, you can't just ignore the woman that you live with and have kids with in a business in a house and have been together for more than a decade. It, that just doesn't work. Eventually, she's going to dip out. Eventually, some other guy will come along and start dating her. And that's what... Obviously, you'll see her in a second as she started some kind of an emotional affair with a guy who just simply makes her feel like he cares. He says, I had a feeling something was off, but I never had any reason to question it before. I looked at her phone one night and saw that she was talking to a guy. Even pictures of her topless. Arr, he says, nightmare. I woke her up and said, who's this? She said she met him at the family wedding which was in the midwest and we are here in california california she let me know they only met and didn't do anything there as far as you know and her family would have told me i'm real close with her sister well that's assuming that the family knows those kinds of secrets women usually can be pretty good at but they'll they'll hint they'll drop in you windows to absolve themselves from guilt but she said she felt lonely and depressed, so she reached out to him weeks after she came home. I was devastated. Like I said, if you don't date and court your girlfriend or your wife, eventually some other guy will. And that's what happened. She's trying to get your attention, and you just constantly ignored her. Like, no, 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 and argued with her, probably complaining you weren't getting any burr, 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 no happy finishes. We have two children, a business, and a house together. I'm so upset she would risk blowing all that. Well, dude, you've ignored her for God knows how long. What do you expect is going to happen? Just going to sit around and be your roommate in a loveless, sexless relationship? Is that a good example to set for your children? Is that what your kid you want your kids to grow up and emulate? Come on, man. She says she wants time and space, and I'm pretty sure she's still in touch with the guy. Probably is. The only thing keeping me sane is he's a five-hour plane ride away. We still live together, but in separate rooms. Well, I hope you're sleeping in the master suite. Because if you moved out of the master suite, well, you're the one that's kind of ending the relationship. And since you're the dude writing me the email, I assume you want to stay in your relationship. So a man never leaves his castle. He doesn't leave his home. He doesn't leave his master suite. If the woman wants to leave and not work in the relationship, she can go sleep in another bedroom. And the whole family and the kids especially can wonder why that is. And she can explain that to him. You don't move out of the master bedroom. But he didn't say, all, all he says is they're sleeping in separate rooms. And she wants to cohabitate even if we sell a home. She doesn't have the resources to move. And I can tell she doesn't want to ask her family to help her get her place. We still both cover hours at the business separately and, of course, take care of the kids. I've been going out having drinks with friends when we have free nights away from the kids, and some nights I'll crash at my parents when I go out. It sounds like you're really trying to work on your marriage or your, your relationship. When I came home late, I noticed she locked the garage door, which we usually keep open, so I think she was mad I may be at a woman's house. She mentioned that's what I may be doing. So she's starting to get the impression that you're screwing around on her. 
which is understandable. How is this helping your marriage or your pending marriage? I've expressed over the past couple of months that she's the one I want and I want to mend things again and I love her. Well, one of the first things you need to start doing whenever you come home from work is like, hey, babe, how was your day? And just shut up and listen. What else? Tell me more. Ooh, how'd that make you feel? What happened next? Get her to talk. Get her remote. Because that'll make her feel like, wow, he actually cares what I have to say again. I mean, at the end of the day, you live in the house with her. You have a business with her. You have children with her. You have a house with her. And you'd rather just come home and be a zombie and, and so she's going to text this guy in another state? Come on, dude. Seriously. you got to participate in your own rescue. It takes two people to make it work. I had shown needy behavior due to fear of losing her in the beginning, and I was smothering her, which, of course, is not attractive. I would go into her room and lay next to her at night. She wouldn't kick me out, but wouldn't hold me or reciprocate. Well, I wouldn't be doing things of those nature. It's like the seduction process, what's the formula? Hang out, in other words, create a date, Could get a babysitter and make dinner together. And while you're hanging out, have fun together. That means talk, get her to open up. And then when she's playing with her hair and touching your arm and punching you playfully because you're busting her balls about something and you're having a good time together, she's exposing her neck, she's standing extra close next to you in the kitchen, then you can put your arm around her slowly and then kiss her and reciprocate. That's when you escalate things. But you would know that if you read the book, which still you have it, and it's been many months that you've been following me, and you still haven't read the damn book yet. Do you want to save your relationship? I, I look at your actions, and all I see is you're half ass in it. Pretty low standards. That's why your business is probably suffering as well. She says she's not in a place to, to want to get back together. That shouldn't bother you. You should not be perturbed by that. She lives in your castle at the end of the day. I hope, again, you're sleeping in the master suite. And if you aren't, you move back into it. And if she wants to move one of the guest rooms, she can. Part of me thinks she's in a midlife crisis. No, you stop dating and courting her, and you don't make her feel heard and understood. These are already things that you've already revealed to me in your email. And this is like 99.999% of the guys that have problems in their long-term relationships. They do the same things that you do. Big complaint women have about guys is they were romantic at first. And then after we were together a while, they just stopped. Guys think, hey, I want her over. I don't have to do this crap anymore. It's like, no. The courtship never ends. You always got to date and court your wife. It's part of the process. It's how you show her that you care. And if you don't do those things, then she eventually... She starts to recognize that you really don't because your actions don't reflect a caring man. You're acting like a roommate. One of our neighbor friends is recently single and an unstable alcoholic, and she goes out with her on occasion, which our family and friends even know she's bad news. She was at her house when the first message was sent to the other guy, and I don't like the influence she has on her. Well... That's up to you. You're supposed to be the rock in the mountain. So number one, the first thing that you need to do if you really are a man and your balls have actually dropped fully is you need to get a physical or digital copy of my book and then you need to get the audio book and put it on two speed. And you can get through the book in, in, in four hours. If you can get through it just one time, that will dramatically help you and the light bulbs will go off and you'll start to see what you've been doing wrong. Trying to cherry pick from videos ain't going to work, dude. It's not going to give you sustainable success simple as that you've been following me four or five months and you still ain't read the book it's like come on dude you got to participate in your own rescue ain't nobody coming to save you or fix your relationship of course she is an adult and makes her own decisions the last couple of weeks i've kept my distance besides watching some of our favorite shows and being with the kids eating dinner etc last night i caught her checking me out while on the couch maybe because i haven't put up any effort to pursue it's been two weeks since I removed my attention towards her besides day-to-day -day needs. Again, when you get home, hey, babe, how was your day? Oh, you don't care? No, tell me about your day. I want to hear it. You have made the classic blunder that just about every, pretty much every guy that comes to me is having long-term or problems in their long-term relationship. You're not dating and courting her. I don't know when that stopped. It seems like a long time ago. And you no longer feel heard and understood. And she's even told you. As much and on top of that, you're arguing with her like a douchebag because you don't have any, any clue what you're doing. Don't argue with your woman. 
it's not going to make her want to sleep with you or have sex with you or feel close to you or want to be intimate with you emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. I'm on the verge of saying, if you don't want me, then move out. It's move out time so I can get someone that values what I have to give. No, you're not there yet, dude. You're kind of being a bitch, and you need to learn the material first. You need to give your relationship a chance. I mean, you did write this email. It's time for you to man up and take control of your life and your destiny. Become a man, maybe for the first time in your life. Go to the gym. Work out. Get refocused on your business. Start hanging out with her when you see her. doesn't mean you smother her. But when you come home, hey, babe, how was your day? Because as, as you get her to start talking and she's doing 80 90% of the talking, you should also watch the video that I did, How to Communicate with Women Effectively. It's only like 10, 15 minutes long. It will really help things click. But you got to read the book. You're not going to be able to fix this unless you learn the material. He says, it's just shitty because we both run the business and would cost the business more to have it covered and the housing market sucks right now. Well, what would be the master's approach to this? Well, like I said, first thing you should do every day when you come home or you see her or she comes in, maybe your, your shift in at the business and she's there. And then when she comes home later, hey, babe, how was your day? And get her to talk. What else? Tell me more. Oh, Really? And just look at her body language. Look at her playing with her hair, maybe moving closer to you, bumping into you, maybe bust her. 90% of the time, you're the charming James Bond. 10% of the time, you're breaking her balls about things, treating her like the bratty little sister. Simple things like this to rebuild intimacy. If you see her staring at you, it's like, I just caught you staring. Were you checking out my ass? I saw you checking out my butt. Maybe she should come over here and give a nice little squeeze. We'll see what pops up. Love is playful and fun. You got to get back to having a good time. The family that plays together stays together. So when you're hanging out with your girl and your kids, do fun things together. Maybe do some board games together. Maybe play Monopoly or something like that. Monopoly is a great board game for the whole family. Make dinner together. Play some Monopoly. Maybe play the Game of Life, which is another really cool game that you can play as well. They're old school games, but they're really good games. Do something, or maybe shoots and ladders if your kids are really super young. You gotta do something to have fun with everybody. And then maybe when you put the kids to bed later, you and your girlfriend or your fiance can play Naked Twister, whatever it happens to be. The bottom line is you gotta start playing together. First and foremost, you gotta get her talking. Because as she talks, and you listen, which is basically what this guy in the Midwest is doing. He's getting her to talk, and he actually listens to her. And so he makes her feel like at least there's some dude in the world that cares about her, her feelings, her hopes, her dreams, what's going well, what's not going well, these kinds of things. And he's trying to rip off your girl. And she lives in your house with you. It's like, come on, dude. This is so easy to fix if you just participate in your own rescue. And when the signs are there that she's ready to be kissed, there's a thing called the kiss test. Again, it's in the book. I talk about it all the time. I'm sure you probably see me talk about it and explain it in other videos. When you see that, you make a move, you learn the seduction process. Remember, when a woman feels heard and understood, the legs open. And when she doesn't, the legs close. So if she feels like you care because you actually take the time to see how her day was and what's going on, and you work together and you don't argue with her, you don't start fights. Even if she gets angry at you, gives you a dirty look, you tease her back. You make fun of it. You don't take life too seriously. You don't take yourself too seriously. Stop being an angry jerk and follow the principles. And it'll be easy to turn this relationship around. I mean, it's like, come on, dude. Seriously. It's so easy to fix. So if you've got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com. Click the products tab at the top of your screen and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.